Yo, what's up? We back with another podcast today. In this video, I'm going to talk about cooking jobs. You tired of waking up every day? You going to a place where you already know what you're about to do. Every single day, you know what you're about to do. You cooking the eggs. You're putting up, you're, you're cooking the eggs. You got to put on your apron. You got to put up your button up shirt or you got to put on your chef hat. Now, don't get me wrong. Some cooking places is good. But if you you working at a lower end cooking place and you sick of coming in every day. Uh... Making french fries, fixing orders, doing other people out work, doing uh, decking the floors. Because at a lot of places, it's a lot of favoritism. So if you want to get out of this industry where you cooking all day long, you're doing somebody else's work. It's stressing you out. Some people, some cooks be like bald head in which... It ain't, it ain't even in a genetics to be bald head. It's just so much stress and pressure that people be going through as a cook. And the problem is, it's not your company. I know some cooks right now that will snitch on you or tell on you, will just say anything just to get a just to get ahead and be a, a get a pay raise just to do this, do that. Like bro, like you don't own this cooking place. You're not the you're not the boss. Like it's I don't get why some people as cooks, and they not managers. Don't get me wrong. If you're a manager, you making good money. But if you a cook, like nine out of ten, unless you're at a high end restaurant, you're really not making that much money. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people leave the cooking industry. But I'm saying. A lot of these head cooks think they're our managers. Like, I don't... It be managers on their shifts and they think they're managers. They will tell you what... Try to tell you what to do. Then they ain't the manager. Try to tell you what to do. Tell you how to dress. Tell you where you should cook at. To where you should go. What to do. Go sweep this area. But they not doing anything. They, they only make like 50 cents more than you. Some of these people need to get out of this industry because it's just, it is no advancement. Unless, it, 9 out of 10 at some of these small end restaurants, you can be there for like 20, like, I know some people just at restaurant for like 15 years and they still at the restaurant. They're not a manager. They didn't advance. They still driving a used car. So, that lets you know, there's no advancement. That's why it's got you got to get out. Unless you're going in it with your mindset of you being a manager, the cooking industry is no advancement. Like, I mean, and I'm not talking to people that like cooking. I'm talking to people that don't like cooking, but just do it because it's the easiest job to get right now in this industry. Right now, if you right now in this world, if you're not doing telemarketing or if you ain't doing cooking, these is the two easiest jobs. Factories are started because factories, a lot of people smoke. A lot of people smoke, and I keep it 100 on this podcast. A lot of people smoke, and they can't pass them tests. So the easiest place to get at is a cooking job. And people stay at these cooking jobs for so long. I know dishwashers that did this forever. Forever. Come on, man. You've been washing dishes for four years. Four years. It's time to think in advancement. Like people don't I don't people don't see that. If you've been if you've been washing dishes and cooking for four years, this is 100. And I'm keeping it 100. For four years. And you haven't got a car 
or your own apartment or anything, something wrong. Something wrong. It should be it should be working to advance your life. You don't stay where you at. And that's the problem when you a cook and you and when you a cook or dishwasher. And I'm gonna say dishwasher specifically on this one. When you're a dishwasher, you specifically stay where you at. You don't advance. You don't advance. When you known as a dishwasher to become a manager, that is rare. That's like that's like something rare in this world. A rare diamond. Dishwashers stay dishwashers. There's no advancement. They rarely get raised. And it's one of the dirtiest, nastiest jobs. And nine out of ten, anybody can get it. Cause don't know at every restaurant, the easiest job to get is a dishwasher. There's no advancement. There's no advancement. If you're not trying to be a dishwasher, you're trying to be a dishwasher and get out to be a cook or something like that, that's cool. And then try to advance up to manager. But if your mindset is just going in this for a check, your whole mindset should be, if you don't got a car, to get a car and to get out of it. Because it's, uh, it's more money out there. There's more factories. There's more companies. I, I don't get why people just think, I'm going to just cook for like five or six, seven years and you can make what you're making starting at that same day for some other factory or company. It's not a it's not a good industry. That's why it's tons of people getting higher left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. Don't nobody want to cook. Like, don't nobody want to do that job. Like you scrubbing the floors, you you mopping and deck brushing the floors every single day. Sometimes somebody might call off you running two stations at one time without getting any help, without any getting any help. And the and the craziest thing about it is, it be managers. Now a manager should know more than you, should be better than you, and everything. There is employees that's better than managers at cooking so when an employee need help the manager lost you know what i'm saying you don't get help you you go and scratch yourself out man that's cr cooking a cooking job and i'm talking about anywhere I, it's rare that you get a cooking job that ain't stressful that's really fun but if you do as that's a good one plus they pay good that's a good one but if you if you if you in one where you scratched out all the time and you you bringing it when you get home you taking it out on everybody you, you feel you feel negative you, like you feel that's not the job for you then man that's not the job get out of that industry man God made people to be happy man if you're not happy where you working at and you're not happy and it's bringing your life down that ain't that ain't the job for you man get out Save up some money. Start a business. Do Amazon FBA. You know what I'm saying? Sell on eBay. Go do Uber. If it ain't for you and you stressed out, do not continue to do it. You know what I'm saying? Try to do something that's going better you and your life. And I'm just keeping it 100 with you. Because there is no advancement. The work is harsh. The managers talk to you any type of way they want to, any type of way, and don't let it be a non-corporate job. If it's a non-corporate job, the managers can talk to you any type of way. Right? They can say, fuck you. They can say all type of cussing words because it's non-corporate. They don't have to follow no rules. So that's what I'm saying. For advance, it's something that's, when you starting off as a cook, most people get out of that industry. It's temporary. If you continue to stay a cook and you are at a place where there's no advancement, don't be afraid. I'm going to tell y'all some 100. Don't be afraid to ask somebody how much they make. I don't know why people keep this a secret. What is a secret to how much you make? You're a cook. You're a cook. You're not some... Spire, uh, uh, 
FBI, police, you're, you're just a cook. Like, people be taking that to heart. Like, I'm, I'm not going to tell you how much I make. You, you, you just cooking, bro. Like, what the, it, what's, what's the big deal? So that's what I'm saying. Make sure you ask somebody. Because that's where you want to figure out how much they can make. How much it can get to. Because remember, you, you can be cooking for 20 years. But once you hit that mark, there is only so much they can pay you once you get to a certain mark. It's, it's a cutoff line. Some cooks, it might be like 16. but It might be 17. But look how many years they done been there. It's been... Like they done started off when the company was new. Like they, man, they probably been at that company for like 15, 16 years. You know what I'm saying? And they finally making 16. But the problem is too, cooking jobs don't give you guarantee 40 hours. They don't give you 40 hours guaranteed. And I'm telling y'all the honest truth. If you go to any cooking job, anyone out there, and you think you about to get 40 hours on a diet or 50 or 60, you tripping. You tripping. You're going to be pulling in 30, and you might be pulling in 35 at the max. You could get 40 in some places, especially if they ain't got no cooks. But it's not a guaranteed 40. But your rent is guaranteed, and them bills is guaranteed, and that car note guaranteed that you got to pay every week. So remember, a cook hours is not guaranteed. So before you go make a rational decision about paying for something that's really high, make sure you understand the decision you're doing. Remember when you remember that's that you don't own that car. You you rent, you financing it. You, you don't own that apartment. You're renting it. So I'm just keeping it 100. It's not a reliable job. You can get fired at any time. You can get fired from any job. But certain jobs is more, more reasonable. But cooking jobs is nothing guaranteed. So it's just me, man. I'm spending some positive notes. Just letting y'all know if you're working at a cooking job, how to get out. Save your money. Save your money for like three to four months. Get comfortable. Don't buy nothing. Don't buy nothing unless you really, really need it. Save your money. It costs $500 to start a business. It costs $100 to start a business. Put your money into Put your money and let your money make some money for you. You know what I'm saying? I hope this helped you. You know what I'm saying? I hope this motivated y'all to go get a, go start your own business, save up some money. Because remember, all them habits, cigarettes, weed, drinking, uh, partying, uh, all type of food habits, you, at the end of the day, you got to spend money for that. So you're not you 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 ma you messing up your money balance. You might get paid what six seven hundred dollars. You're spending three hundred on uh, habits, and you got bills, rent, all that. So at the end of the day, it's just save your money, save you a couple checks, because there is no to be. I don't want to be hard, but there is no excuses to not have enough money to save, as especially as a worker. To save till to start your business, it only costs five hundred dollars. Like, if you can't if you can't save five hundred dollars, your living advances is way too high. You got to slim down. Take it easy. Don't go buy every pair of Jordans. You know, try to start that business. You know what I'm saying. I'm just keeping it 100, man. It's your boy, Shot Town Terrence. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all got any questions? Hit me up at Shot Town Terrence 2 at gmail.com. Hit me up on Facebook at Shot Town Terrence. If you got any questions, comment below too. And make sure y'all smash the like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. If you're watching this, make sure you subscribe to your boy. It's Shot Town Terrence. I'm signing out. Peace.